we will now engrave stick font with the <clears throat> contour toolpath. The engraving toolpath is not used to engrave stick fonts. It's going to be used to engrave uh, true type fonts that are pocket style fonts. Okay. Uh, one of the greatest tips for engraving is the chaining technique we can use. Uh, in this T, we're going to recut the right side and come back down instead of pulling up. And to do so, you just click once, click twice. So that saves a bunch of retracts, especially for an I or the K. So to do it, we get to this point, click once, click twice. And that's how to reverse it. So click once, click twice. And we're going to try it again on the K. So click once, twice, and it reverses. Let's reverse it again. Click once, click twice. Oops. Wrong key. And make sure you always end. Let's click once, click twice. It will reverse and end the chain. One more time for the T. One click, another click, and it reverses. Once this is done, we can select the engraving tool. And a big tip for engraving tools is to uh, match the tip diameter with what you purchased or made. And also, on the Parameters tab, change the tool name so it's output in the tool comments correctly. Once this is done, this will not produce uh, a tool path that, that is good enough for engraving because cutter comp is on, and also lead in and lead outs are on. So let's go back in here and fix those problems. I'm going to <clears throat> turn compensation off so it goes right down the center of the tool. And lead in, lead out, I'm going to turn that off. Let's also adjust our cutting parameters so it only um, goes down to a depth of 10,000. And also, um, let's change our retract to something small. Retract is between depth cuts. Clearance is between contours, so between letters. But since we don't have any depth cuts, it'll just use retract. OK. Let's verify this. A few verify tips. Normally, our settings are like this. Doesn't really produce great verify results here, OK? If you really want to see what's going on, you want to turn the quality up, and then click on Options. Take your tool tolerance down to 1,000. So it will draw the tool with this tolerance. Because it only has a 5,000th tip, it's a very tiny tool. It needs a small tolerance also. Wow, beautiful. So that looks fantastic. OK. Let's post this, and we'll give it one last look with the Simcoe editor. So the Simcoe editor has a fantastic backplot function. And we can just, with the arrow key, step through our G-code and look to see how this came out. And it looks fantastic. Let's look at that K. Notice how there's no retracts. In our next video, we will go over how to engrave a uh, true type font with the engraving toolpath.